Victoria, a southern white rhino, lumbers through a heavy iron gate on the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. She's looking for a treat and a friendly pat from senior keeper Jill Van Kempen. The white rhino is here for a checkup. It's something that postdoctoral researcher Parker Pennington first noticed several weeks ago. Too much? Other way. Pennington manipulates an ultrasound wand while the zoo's reproductive physiologist, Barbara Durant, studies the portable ultrasound screen. <laughs> she has grown a lot. We're calling her she, we're hopeful. She's looking at an embryo. Durant says that little baby rhino is just short of two months old. If you look at the screen, you can see the fetus. And we just did a crown rump measurement. This is the head, and this is the body. And when I unfreeze it, you'll be able to see the heartbeat. Victoria gets an ultrasound like this once a week, and that already makes this baby one of the most watched rhino embryos ever. So she's facing, she's on her head, her head is down. The baby rhino is about 37 millimeters long, about an inch and a third. And then her, this is her body. Think the length of a typical AA battery. Durant also uses a Doppler feature of the ultrasound machine to see if the blood is flowing like it should. This is the fetus here, this is the body, this is the head. And see that little round white spot? That's, that's the bottom of one of her feet. Those are her two feet there up next to her head. And so when we see these little explosions of color, the blue and the red, that's the blood. That that's blood flow, yes. Durant and Pennington have tried artificial insemination with another rhino, but this pregnancy is the first to work using the techniques developed here. Special tools had to be designed to navigate the tricky birth canal. Protocols were developed for freezing sperm, so material remains capable of fertilization. And delivering the sperm at the right time is key. Mm -hmm. Victoria got pregnant on the first try, and Pennington says that's because there was a viable egg. We tracked that ovary, induced her ovulation, and made sure that it happened before we inseminated her because of the frozen sperm that we were using. We wanted to make sure that it was a successful ovulation. Victoria is one of six female rhinos that were brought to San Diego from South Africa to help develop these artificial insemination techniques. It's amazing how quick all of this happened from these females coming in from the wild and being trained and now we have a pregnancy from an artificial insemination in just a little over two years. It's, it's awesome. Durant says the team is focused on making sure each of them become a mom because that will be the key to helping their critically endangered cousins, the northern white rhinos. Only two of them remain on the planet, and neither are capable of breeding. In the long run, in the very distant future, when we are able to do embryo transfer and we have a northern white rhino embryo and we can put it into a southern white rhino for gestation, we'll be able to follow those same landmarks of growth and development. This is not Victoria's first pregnancy. She was carrying a rhino calf when she was brought to San Diego. That was a surprise. Senior keeper Jill Van Kempen says the birth was dramatic, but also sad because the infant was stillborn. We kind of have to take a step back and trust Mother Nature. And, you know, Rhino's a big animal and she's protective, so we can't really get hands on to help her or to help that baby very often. So we sort of just have to let nature take its course. Nature's course isn't being relied upon for conception. San Diego researchers are giving the rhinos a big push to improve the odds of fertilization. Back up. And in 14 months or so, They'll find out if the successful procedure leads to more pregnant moms or even a healthy calf on the ground. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.